What is the magic that makes one's eyes sparkle and gleam, light up the skies? The name of the game is Lightworks. We've traveled as far as we can by vehicle and now we have to continue on our journey on foot. Lord, this is excited. I better get going here. I've never seen you this excited. <laughs> oh, sorry. One more thing to tell you. The medicine wheel is haunted. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. It's 4,500 years old. How could it not be haunted? You don't know that. We haven't even seen it yet. How would I know? I haven't seen the fucking thing yet. We've been walking for about, what, a half hour now? Has your level of excitement increased or decreased? I guess slightly decreased. It's yeah. a long way. Was this longer than you expected? Yeah, honey, you said it was like around the corner and then 15 minutes about a half hour ago. It won't open? No. Oh, maybe you go like yeah. You know what? I'm not. I'm from the city, okay? All right, as you can tell, it was a little windy that day. We were on top of the hill where the Majorville Medicine Wheel is. So I gotta step in here and come correct with some proper vocals. The Majorville Medicine Wheel is estimated to be over 4,500 years old. Wow, that's really old. That makes this place one of the oldest religious monuments in the world. This is a place of Blackfoot ritual activity. The Blackfoot people come here to make offerings of sage, sweetgrass, tobacco, cloth, dance, and song as a way of connecting to their ancestors. I'm the fire starter, twisted fire starter. Hey, hey, hey! What kind of a song is that? That's Prodigy. I don't know that song. Twisted fire starter. <laughs> Okay, what do we do now? We just walk around the medicine wheel. With the... Uh, Sage. And do what? Set good intentions. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Get a couple of those in there too, why don't you? Honey, no... Is this your offering? KelseyNorman.com, yo, okay. people need to know. That's enough. Subscribe on YouTube. Everyone who's come here looks like they're over the age of 70. You think they're gonna go check out your website? Hell yeah, I got content for everyone. Kids, okay. seniors, All right. All right. young adults. All right. I think people are gonna be more hyped to catch those stickers than they are to see the medicine wheel. You really like your website. Free stickers, huh? <laughs> Who doesn't like free stucker? It was truly awesome to visit a site that has so much historical value and significance. So we just walked back from the medicine wheel and it took 45 minutes. So an hour and a half in total if you want to check this place out. In between exploring medicine wheels, we checked out the hamlet of Scandia during their centennial celebration weekend. Home to 146 people, Scandia actually used to be a bumping place until the trains stopped going through there and the grain elevators shut down. Now it's the home of the Eastern Irrigation District Historical Park, which you can see here. They got some old cars, old farm equipment and machinery, 
and some old houses and buildings set up in the stylings of the early settlers of the area. What do they got? Steve Larson. Oh yeah, what else? Any Danielle Steele? John Grisham. Oh yeah, the confession. Classic. It was actually nice to visit a hamlet and see people out and about for once. Instead of the same old dead town vibe we've encountered many times before. Forget something? I got it. What you get? Some sage, some lavender, some sea salt. You gonna take a bath up there? <laughs> it's an offering. our second medicine wheel for the day. Now this medicine wheel, the age is unknown, but for all these medicine wheels, they are between the ages of 250 years or 5,000 years. And the experts seem to think that this one is one of the older ones. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, it's a furry one. I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a wireless mic because it's so windy. So this medicine wheel was used by the blood the Blackfoot, the Stony, and the Pagan over centuries ago. There are six known medicine wheels of this style in the whole entire world. Four of them in Alberta, one in Saskatchewan, and one in northern Montana. I know a lot about medicine yeah, wheels, hey? Yeah. Like you researched it or it's something. Like I, it's like I went on the internet and read about them. 